Hey guys, it's Mel and Shane. We're back with a follow-up to our previous YouTube little video there of our super secret build. So today we're actually building the super secret build. We were contacted by Steve Morris to build another carbon fiber drive shaft for a car that he's been secretly building for his wife. So we are going to build him a three and a half inch 155 wall carbon fiber 1350 series for a turbo 400 transmission. So the car um, that Steve's building is like my wife said, it's for his wife. She'll be driving it in sick week um, this coming um, February. January, February. I'm down here in Florida. Um, the car is an 81 Malibu, um, beautiful charcoal gray with a big block Chevy, twin superchargers. I believe Steve said it's gonna be an 850, mm -hmm. 850 car. Yep. Um, but yep, um, requested a carbon fiber dry shaft. So that's the build we're about to do. So follow us through the, through the steps. So we apply these heating bands. Um, you can see we've got one end done already. Um, basically, I'm going to take and wind this band around the tubing. And then once we've got it wound around, we've got a temperature probe that will be inserted underneath the band. And the automatic controller, we have the temperature set on here, and this will automatically regulate the heat to 50 degrees. And we'll do that for two hours, remove the towels and the bands, and the the curing process will be done. Then we have to let it cool overnight. Um, once that's heated, it needs to cool back down for 100% complete bond. So I'll show you how we, how we put the bands on. We get the bands around. We put the temperature probe under a couple of the bands. Sometimes I get them too tight. Now we'll wrap the towels around. So now we've got both ends wrapped up. We've got our controllers all hooked up. Our temperature probes are in place. And like I said, as you can see, we already have the temperature settings set in there. It's actually under Celsius, 65.6 on each one temperature and it'll regulate that temperature right at 150. We'll come back in a couple hours, remove everything, let it set overnight. Tomorrow it'll be ready to go into the torque tester and the balancer and hopefully by tomorrow afternoon uh, this will be ready to ship out. Hey guys, um, so we've got the heater heating elements off of Steve's drive shaft. Everything's cured, ready to go. We're going to take this thing out to the shop, put some U-joints in it, torque test and balance and try to get this thing shipped out today. So. Let's head out to the shop and start on the U-joints. All right, we've got the drive shaft in the Arbor Press. I'm gonna start installing our Neapco Performance U-joints. I know we've said before, but the only ones we use in these shafts, specifically designed for performance and racing. joints are installed we're going to take it over and get her in the torque tester and let's start twisting this thing up see what happens all right we're in the machine and i know a lot of you have probably seen this before but those of you that haven't i'll go through it again um, so basically what we're doing is we're going to apply 
rotational torque to this drive shaft. We're testing the adhered bonds to make sure that they're going to hold before the drive shaft gets to the customer. Uh, basically, we're just going to apply some air. We've got a laser indicator to show us how much twist we have in the dry shaft and to ensure the dry shaft goes all the way back to, back to zero. Um, and before we get started, just give you an idea, as you can see, my machine is completely flat on the ground, very solid. I'm gonna start applying air. I'm probably gonna go a little over 3,000 foot-pounds of rotational torque on this dry shaft. So that is, like I said, probably about 3,200 foot-pounds of torque. It's on this drive shaft right now. And as you can see, this carbon fiber drive shaft is so strong, it actually has my machine twisted and picking two feet up off of the floor. And when I let the air off, now that we've done the test, the bonds are good. Um, we're gonna release the air and It'll return back to zero, and like I said, you'll see the twist come out of the machine, and it'll set the feet right back down. The twist of the drive shaft will actually force the cylinder back down on its own. The drive shaft's back at zero. The machine's planted again on the floor and doesn't move. So when we say this stuff is tough, we mean it is tough. All right, so we've moved from the torque test machine which you, as you saw um, passed beautifully so we're now in our coats high speed balancer and we're going to do high speed balance on this right shaft quick and then we get done with that we put a yoke on and we're we're done so let's get started we have a 1353 and a half carbon fiber we're going to start with our calibration. Oregano. And there you have it, folks. You saw it. 5,000 RPM. Dry shafts in bounce. This thing's ready to hit the track and do some racing. Um, I think Steve said this car should be an 850 car. Like I said, his wife's going to be driving it. Um, his son's going to be co-pilot, crew chief um, for sick week. And he has nicknamed the car Sugar Mama. So just like before, I'm going to put a nice personal note on this drive shaft. And before we send it to him, uh, but we'll get, it, get the yoke put on, get it boxed up and sent out today. So I've decided instead of me writing this, because I have handwriting like a doctor, we're gonna go grab Team Mel and have her come out here and actually do the, the writing on the dry shafts. Awesome, thank you, Mel. I'll get her out of the machine. I'll get her finished putting it together and we'll send her out. Hope you like it, Steve. Hope the wife likes it. We'll see you at sick week.